us, mankind, are considered the most astute or intelligent species on the planet. But how wrong could we be? A virus, a common cause for an ordinary cold, has created a havoc in the world. World Health Organization declares a world health emergency or pandemic. Hi, my name is Shania Pokarna, and I'm going to be talking about the coronavirus. We've all heard about COVID-19, but have you ever thought about how it's impacted our everyday lifestyles and the environment? It doesn't all have to be bad, does it? Let's start off with the good things. Since less people are going out, that's causing less pollution and less global warming. Did you know that for the first time in over 50 years, you could see the top of the Himalayas from various places in India you couldn't see before? That's not the only way this is impacting our environment. As of July 2020, there are about 17.4 million cases in the world, and about 4.5 million of them were just in the United States. So far, about 600,000 people have died. More people have died from this than the flu. I, sur I surveyed 100 people, asking them how this has affected their lifestyles. The results were astounding. About 66% of the people would rather work from home so they can spend quality time with their family by either playing games or watching movies. And more people are taking time to do meditation or read some books. 67% of the people would rather pick up, do pick, would pick up their groceries from the store and do delivery instead of going in store. Likewise, about 50% of the people would rather have their kids um, learn from home instead of go to school. 75% of the people are following CDC guidelines of wearing masks, gloves, and social distancing. I interviewed psychiatrist Dr. Kathy Kotari and asked her to shed some light on my survey and tell me about some of her patients. She said that a lot of the patients are getting more sick and running out of medic medicines. They're also getting more anxious and the stress levels are going up. This pandemic is far from over and we cannot put our foot down, said Dr. Harang Pokarna, infectious disease specialist, my dad. He said that it's important for us not to get COVID fatigue and continue to follow the rules of wearing masks, gloves, and social distancing. As of my survey, only 75% of the people are doing this and there's much more room for improvement. We've all been staying safe at home, but what about all the healthcare workers? They're risking their lives every single day to help us stay safe and healthy. When this pandemic started, my mom was tested positive for COVID-19. We were all in isolation for about two weeks. It was a really big challenge for us, especially my mom who was sick and my dad who was an infectious disease specialist and he was seeing COVID patients through telemed, video call appointments and taking care of my brother and I. After about two weeks, my mom came out of isolation and things were getting back to normal, but not for my dad. All the healthcare workers are working 24 seven to help us stay safe. We should all salute them for what they're doing to help us stay safe throughout this pandemic. The effects of COVID-19 are different for everyone. Some people might have severe illness while others won't feel anything at all. Have you ever woken up and not, have a, not had a sense of taste or smell? That might mean you caught the virus. The most common symptoms are fever, shortness of breath, and cough. But remember, if you cough once or twice does not mean you caught the virus. Here are some ways to prevent yourself, by get, prevent yourself of getting the virus. Wear masks. It could be surgical masks, N95s, cotton masks, or be crea creative. Make your own DIY masks. Another thing, which is a must, is to limit social gatherings. Try not to go to places where many people have been. There are many other ways that doctors are trying to help the patients. Did you know that you can also help with the treatment of COVID-19? Your plasma is as precious as gold. So if you had con contracted the virus or know someone who did, be encouraged to donate your plasma. One plasma donation can help five people in need. There are many efforts being made to develop a vaccine. 
So once it comes out, please take it so we can develop herd immunity and fight this virus off once and for all. Herd immunity is when 65 to 70 percent of the people are immune to the virus by either the vaccine or the virus. So once the vaccine comes out, please, please, please do not forget to take it. Step by step by step. A small virus has taken over the world and now it's up to us to stop it. This, this experience has taught me to be grateful for the little things in life and to live within our means. I would like to say this to people who are anxious. It's okay to be anxious, but remember, there's a light at the end of the tunnel and everything's gonna go back to how it was before. This is a time to try creative projects, find hidden talents and connect with friends and family. So the last thing I would like to say is remember the acronym WASH. W stands for wash your hands. A, avoid touching your face. S, social distance. And H, wear hand masks and gloves. I would like to thank you all for taking time out of your day to come listen to my talk. And I hope you all stay safe and healthy. Thank you.